Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, magre-review na naman tayo ng isang makeup product. And that is the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation. So actually, kinamit ko to dun sa past video ko na simple makeup look using local products. And I have one, actually two, two viewers na nag-request na gawan ko siya ng review. And of course, hindi na naman bago sa atin tong product na to. Since matagal na siyang nilabas na Ever Belena. It's just that, of course, it's a request from my viewer. And gusto ko naman i-grant yung request nila. And please watch until the end of this video because I have a giveaway. At the end of the video, I'll share the mechanics kung papano mananalo sa aking giveaway. So if you guys are interested... Uh, sa aking giveaway and you want to know kung ano ang kung paano magpe-perform ang foundation na to when it comes to coverage and longevity, please keep on watching. So guys and mga Mars, ito na nga. We will try the Everbella na liquid foundation. So, I'll use two um so on the on the on this side I'll use the brush and on the other side I'll use my sponge. So we'll know kung ano ang mas okay sa mas okay na pang apply. So again, wala akong ibang shade kundi silk. So ganito yung kanyang packaging. And I'll start applying na lang onto my, um, I'll start applying the product sa face ko. And then later on, ko na lang bibigay ang thoughts ko. Ang puti talaga niya, no? Pero for me, ah, mas okay na yung mapaputi ka sa foundation kesa yung mapaitim ka ng kuha. Kasi pag ganitong maputi yung foundation mo, pwede mo kasi siyang bawiin sa contour at sa bronzer. Pero kapag maitim na yung foundation mo, I don't think kaya pa siyang habulin ng face powder. Kasi pag nag-fade yung face powder or loose powder, Lalabas pa din yung, ano eh, itim, or mas maitim sa yung foundation niya. So, I just blend it very well. Wow! <laughs> Nag-research ako, mayroon siyang oriental shade. Kaso, madalas ng local uh, drugstores and Watsons, wala na yung oriental shade niya. Laging ang shade na lang na available is the porcelain and the silk. And yung other half, I'll use a uh, damp sponge. So, lagi kong sinasabi, kapag gusto mo plahado yung foundation mo, brush yung gamitin mo. Pero pag gusto mo na tone down, sponge. And I think I'll just blend the rest of my face using the damp sponge para yung matone down tong right right part ng face ko nung ginabitan ko ng brush so yung ginamit ko big isang squeeze pea size na squeeze ng product at ganito na yung coverage niya sobrang full na agad siya 
let's see if buildable siya. Kasi may nakikita pa akong pimple marks dito. So, ganito lang. Kakonti yung nilagay ko. And baka idamay ko din yung leg ko. Let's see if buildable siya. Okay. So far, buildable naman yung product. Hindi ako gumamit ng primer, pero parang nakikita ko na nag... Wait. Nagsisettle siya dun sa gilid ng nose ko. Siguro dahil medyo yung part na yun is malalim or dahil maraming pores doon. I'll check kung mapapakita ko sa inyo. Wait na. Ito nyo ba? Basta pumapasok siya doon sa gilid ng nose ko. So, uh, guys, I'll finish the rest of the makeup and I'll be back. So, guys, I'm back and I did my makeup na just the cheek tint at lip tint lang. And the time now is... Okay, actually, hindi ko alam. I'll just post the time dito, sa side na to. Then, I'll do check-ins from time to time and I'll do blotting as well. And I'll keep you guys updated. I'll be back. One hour later. Date tayo after one hour. Medyo nag-oil na yung part ko dito. Pansin nyo ba? Walang highlighter yan. Pero parang, ayun no. Medyo, kasi ma-oil yung T-zone ko talaga eh. Parang nauna na to. <laughs> Pachi-pachi yung, ano ko, lip tint ko. Ano ba yun? Mga bigote ko eh. Ayan. <laughs> na yung itsura niya. Medyo nabawasan na rin yung ano, coverage dito. Okay pa naman, di ba? Hi guys! It's been 3 hours since ito yung Everbilena sa face ko. And now, we're gonna blot to check the oil. Pinaghalong oil na to, tsaka pawis. <laughs> Yung anak, tatawanan ako. So, as you can see, talagang sa T-zone lang talaga ako madalas mag-oil up. Sa nose, dito, sa nose ng babae ko. Tsaka, ito o, oh, medyo naghulas na siya sa eyelids ko. Meron na siyang parang nagsettle na dun sa lines ko. Kita na yung pimple marks ko. Nag-settle na rin siya sa ilong. Okay, babalik ako ulit later. 
been 5 hours since nasa face ko siya. And hindi naman ako malis ng bahay, but I did a lot of house chores. Kung sa init basis, hindi ko siya siya matas sa init kasi unang-una, umuulan dito. And umakyat na ako ngayon sa aircon, but I still blot kung may makukuha pa ako. Siyempre, medyo natuyo na siya eh. Pero napansin ko, ang pinaka next day talaga is yung chick tint ko. Hanjan pa. Alright. So, ayan. Makikita nyo ba? Ayan yung oil na nakuha ko. And I will now give my overall thoughts sa uh, Everblena All Day Liquid Foundation. So first, ang packaging. Packaging wise, uh, I'll give it 4.5 over 5. Since I like that it's travel friendly, manipis lang siya, kasyang kasya sa bag. And even the. Even yung dulo niya is. Um, I like it. Hindi man siya pa or what, pero at least ano. Tanchado mo yung lalabas sa product kapag ganyan yung pinaka dulo niya. And the consistency of the product is. Not runny and not so thick then. So, tama-tama lang siya. And for the coverage of this foundation, I would like to compare it to Maybelline uh, Superstay. Kasi ganun eh. Maganda yung coverage niya. Pero syempre, ang lamang lang ni Maybelline Superstay doon is, of course, the last long-lasting power. Kasi with um, Everbelena, nandun, I mean, maganda yung coverage, pero the staying power, not so-so. So, again, packaging muna tayo, 4.5 over 5. And then, the coverage, I'll give it 3 over 5. Since, maganda siya sa umpisa. And then, don't worry about the... Di ba maputi siya kanina? Napansin ko, sabi ko, acidic talaga ako. Kasi nag-tone down siya, o. Oh. Hindi na siya sobrang puti. Means na nag-oxidize yung foundation. So, para sa mga acidic tulad ko, if pipili kayo ng foundation shade, dapat lighter or um, two, uh, two shades lighter than your skin tone pag acidic. Kasi, iitim pa siya. So, kung kukuha ka ng ka-shade mo, Mas iitim pa yon kung acidic ka. <laughs> Ang ma-advise ko lang, if gamit kayo ng gantong foundation, I would suggest for uh, people who have oily skin, please use a mattifying primer para na rin na hindi magsettle yung product dun sa gilid ng ilong nyo and sa mga malalaking pores nyo sa gilid ng nose. Because kanina hindi ako nag-primer, that's why siguro nag-settle in siya. But now I know that if I use this foundation again, which is eventually I will, magpa-primer na ako and I'll set it as well with a face powder. For its staying power, I'll give it 3 over 5 as well. Since, hindi ko pa naman siya natatest out talaga ng 8 hours. 5 hours lang to. But, napansin ko na nag-fade out siya dito banda sa cheeks. Siguro because, pinagpawisan na ako dito. And even dito. Doon naman tayo sa price point. This is only 195 pesos. So, kung i-compare mo siya sa, like, let's say, Maybelline, yung Super Stay Foundation, super affordable nito at hindi naman nagkakalay ng performance. Ang pinaka nakikita ko lang improvement na pwede gawin ni Everbelena is maglabas siya in the future ng wider range. So, para mas makater niya yung iba't ibang skin tone ng Filipina women. And, if kayo ay estudyante, or like makeup junkies pero a budgetarian, I will recommend this uh, foundation since sabi ko nga kanina na yung kanyang performance is hindi nalalayo dun sa Maybelline Super Stay Foundation but hindi siya masakit sa bulsa. So very affordable siya. So I will just give a disclaimer that this is not a sponsored video. All my thoughts uh, are my own and all my my opinion about the product is also my own. 
And I bought this with my own money. So, technically, wala talagang bias sa review na ito. And, yung mechanics sa ating, sorry, medyo antok na ako. Yung mechanics ng ating giveaway, ay isisingit ko na lang after this video. Okay? So, simple lang tong giveaway ko ha. Kasi hindi naman tayo sobrang, ano pa, sobrang blessed pa. Hindi pa naman tayo, so blessed lang tayo, pero hindi pa tayo super duper blessed. Pag super duper duper blessed na tayo, tsaka tayo mamibigay ng bonggang bong yung giveaway. But for now, uh, I'll just, um, it's with my own money ha. It's not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. So, ayun, because I love my subscribers. So, ito na nga guys, yung mechanics for my giveaway. Oh, actually first, sa first sabi ko ano yung giveaway ko. My giveaway are Ever Belena products. And that is of course a sealed, brand new sealed Ever Belena All Day Liquid Foundation. Parehong shade na nalagay ko sa face ko and that is the silk. And also, I have another Ever Belena product, the Ever Belena Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Toast of New York. So, this is also sealed. Brand new. And, of course, ito yung ginamit ko last time. Na, actually, correction. Hindi ko siya nagamit. Binili ko siya for the simple makeup look featuring local products. Kaso, when I swatch it sa back of my hand, minabuksan ko na siya. So, naswatch ko siya dito. I'll put the video link here. Hindi ko siya nagustuhan sa look na yon. So, hindi siya bagay for the makeup that I did. So, hindi siya yung nagamit ko. So, actually, nabuksan ko lang siya, tapos naswatch ko lang siya sa likod ng kamay ko and that's it. Hindi ko pa talaga siya nalalagay kung saan sa labi ko or what. As in, good as new. Sasama ko. Actually, madali lang yung aking uh, mechanics sa, sa giveaway. Just have to, of course, watch the video like the video and subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel, it's me, Maris. And then you have to comment down below kung bakit gusto mong manalo. And then put in your location. Nalagay mo lang if Metro Manila or um, outside Metro Manila. I, I know I have subscribers outside um, the Philippines, so pwede naman ding sumali if ma ship ko siya here in the Philippines. Pero kung hindi na, kung isiship, masiship ko siya, pero hindi mo rin siya agad magagamit. Siyempre, mas prefer ko pa rin na ang sumali is yung mga nandito lang sa Philippines. Para at least, hindi masasayang yung product, magagamit din nila. And additional requirement is that you have to follow also my Facebook page. I'll put the link on the description box. And also, you have to follow my Instagram account as well. I'll put also the link sa description box. And I think dito na nagtatapos ang ating video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!